Hello everyone. Now I am discussing about multiple beam interference and the Fabry-Perot interferometer. So the multiple beam interference occurs when wave get traps in between two interface and it suffers multiple beam deflections or transmissions and win both. As a consequence, the incident wave divided in multiple paths following the multiple route of reflections and transmissions. Collectively, all these waves interfere and result in array function of interference pattern. Fabry-Perot interferometer works following this principle of interference. Now we'll see in this schematic about the multiple reflections of the beam. Now if you see here, it, it consists two interface and the in between these two interface there are refractive index of NF is assumed and the separation of these two interface is presented with D. Now we are considering a beam of electric field E0 from a source S is falling with the angle of theta i on this surface. Hence it is get reflected in this path and one part will get transmitted with angle of theta t. Again when it is falling in the second interface, it will suffer again reflection and transmission both. So one part will go in this way and another part will transmit in this way. So in this interface, again it will suffer reflections and transmission both. So this is the path of the reflections and this is the path of the transmissions. Again this reflected beam here again it will suffer both transmissions and reflections so this is the path of the reflections and this is the path of the transmissions so this is the how the multiple transmissions or multiple reflections occurs when the light gate traps in between two interface now if we assume r and r prime the coefficient of reflections of these two surface, first surface, first interface and second interface and similarly T and T prime are the coefficient of transmission of first and second interface respectively, then we can estimate the value of the field which is getting reflected from the each surface. So for example here it is represented the reflected beam, so, so first, first beam it will come as E0 with multiplied with the first reflected uh, coefficients are this one it will be e0 t r prime and t so it is estimated from this value so similarly we can get all the electric field values in this reflection mode as well as we can get the all the transmission field value of the transmission mode now we can easily estimate the path difference of these two consecutive beams so the path difference of these two consecutive beam can be represented estimated by this length. So it is nothing but the wave, one wave is passing through from here to here, another wave in that time it will go up to this. So we can estimate the total path difference, optical path difference is with this caps lambda which is nothing but 2 nf d cos theta t. Theta t is the angle of the transmissions. So after calculating the optical path difference we can calculate the phase difference multiplying with the wave number and now one more assumptions for simplicity we can take that the outside medium of this film is assumed as AR so we can take that R will be equals to minus R prime and T and T prime can be assumed as 1 minus R square so with these assumptions we can go find out the total transmission field which is nothing but the summations of all components all multiple components in a series form so if we take and including the phase terms with each case because we have to consider phase terms of reflections in each cases which is nothing but this delta so we can find out and we can get the value of the e0 1 minus r square divided by 1 minus r square e to the power i delta so similarly we can derive the total field of the in the reflection mode now these things can be uh, uh, after calculating the field we can find out uh, eventually 
the intensity distributions in transmissions and the as well as the in the deflection field so these expressions are given here i uh, i t is the transmitted uh, in, in intensity divided by our ratio over the uh, original input intensity which is nothing but in these expressions so similarly for the reflection mode it can be represented in this form so in these two cases one thing we can notice easily that all the all the inter intensity distributions is modulated with this sinusoidal square of the sinusoidal functions of the phase term and also one more term is the present there which is nothing but the reflectivity so the term can be abbreviated assuming a uh, defining a new terms which is called the fineness coefficient which is nothing but by 2r by 1 minus r square whole square of this function and is called the coefficients of the fineness finally the terms whole terms can be abbreviated with the mathematical array functions in this form and it can written in finally in this pattern so this is the transmissions intensity pattern and this is the reflected intensity pattern now if we plot this mathematical function in one dimension then we can get the distributions of array pattern in this figure so in this figure it is assumed with three values of f which is 0.21 and 200 so we can see the difference of this so all this case is having the maxima and minima distribution and there is a changes of its sharpness or the contrast so we can conclude from from this nature that the sharpness is depend on this value of the f which is nothing but the value of the r square or the reflectivity so the sharpness increases with higher value of the r now using this multiple beam reflections principle the fabry perot parameter no, interferometers is designed which is having high re resolving power and it is used for a laser cavity a fabry perot interferometer or a etalon is typically made of transparent plate with two reflecting surfaces or two parallel reflecting mirrors its transmission spectrum as a function of wavelength exhibits peaks of large transmission corresponding to resonances of the interferometer it is named after charles faraday and alfredo parrot who developed the instrument in 1899 So this is the schematic of a Fabry Perot interferometer is given here, which is nothing but a optical system consisting of two slightly wedge-shaped mirrors, apart by a distance d, along with the collimated system of these lenses. The final pattern, which is nothing but the array function, yields from this Fabry Perot interferometer. It looks like this. this pattern can be tuned by this separations between two plates of the fabry perot interferometer now the analysis of this interferogram of the fabry perot interferometer can be done by measuring the full width at half maxima of the fringes so to consider this we can take directly make this functions equals to half which results the phase functions is nothing but in approximate form of 2 by root over f so we can estimate the fwhm of the beam of the interference maxima patterns or the peaks is in this form of the 4 by root f finally it can de it, it defines the ratio of the adjacent maxima shaping to the width of the individual maximum is known as the fineness of this interferogram is called the caps f which is nothing but pi root over a by 2 there are many many applications of this fabry perot interferometer first of all in the lasers where you use the cavity is nothing but a fabry perot cavity in it follows the principle of the multiple beam reflections so here actually in in a fabry perot cavity two highly reflective mirrors select an output of the laser wavelength 
which is extremely narrow band is called the mode of the laser and entirely it is decided by the design of the Fabry-Ferro cavity. It also used oftenly for that high precision tunable lasers this Fabry-Ferro cavity for principles is used. In telecommunication and networks where employing the optical components like wavelength division multiplexers and add and drop multiplexers all are depends on this Fabry-Ferro interferometer principles. For design dichroic filters which are made by depositing a series of Fabry-Ferro layers on a optical surface by vapor depositions. Another important optical instrument is, instrument is spectrum optical spectrum analyzer and wave meter which also follows the principle of Fabry-Ferro interferometer to select the free spectral range and to determine the wavelength of the light with great precision. It is also used for spectrum analysis in the case of the astronomy. Thank you.